Breaking news! President Andrei Duda did not light the menorah this year. Every year, since peace have been in power, President Duda have lit a menorah at the start of Hanukkah in the presidential palace, and he wishes the Jewish community around the world a happy Hanukkah. Just last year, on President.pl, Duda even claimed it of an achievement for the first five years in power, calling it an annual event. However, Hanukkah started yesterday, and there have been no menorah lighting. There have been no annual greeting and well-wishing. Why? I think this is a significant development, so let's speculate. I think two key factors are likely. Firstly, this is a result and a sign of how far Warsaw's relationship have fallen with, let's say, Israel. Relationship with, let's say, Israel are at an all-time low. Both countries have recalled their ambassadors this year. Look at this article in Haaretz from a couple days ago. Very animosity between the two nations. Relations have deteriorated since both Trump and Netanyahu left power. The other theory, as speculated by Bozak, is that because peace is worried about the optics of the event, and since confederates have grown so much recently, they're worried they might lose right-wing voters to confederates. Yeah, I'm interested to hear your thoughts in the comments. A third a theory could be that maybe they just forgot, but I, this is impossible. There has to be a reason. All right, uh, let's get into something uh, a bit scandalous. It is worth noting the replies to this. Uh, Mr. Bilewich, he first replies, However, they are a bit afraid of us, especially when we turned off their Pegasus. So I think in a few days they will reflect and light these candles after all. Okay. <clears throat> then a Twitter user with the name Polish Supremacist replies, I can't show the exact tweet, but he implied that there is a criminal aspect to practices like Pegasus that will eventually be stopped. Then Belvich replies, Wet dreams of power. Now please go back to cleaning the toilet in Cinema City, possibly cleaning the floor in the Super Farm Pharmacy. Note that both businesses are owned by Israelis. Not cool. My opinion, maybe hate speech. And the twist? Balvich is the director of the Center for Research on Prejudice at the University of Warsaw, co-author of the first nationwide research on the phenomenon of hate speech. Now, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, I think. Anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. And before we say goodbye, I have to mention this incident. The incident with a former American ambassador. One time, she wished Poland a happy Passover and neglected to wish of a happy Easter. Trump appointee, by the way. And still, I think Biden's replacement is going to be a lot worse. <laughs> right? So, anyways, that's it for today. Dovigenia.